Salford City, in goal, number one, Jay Lynch. Number two, Phil Edgehill. Number three, James Moss. Number four, Nicky Black. Number five, and captain, Chris Lynch. Number six, Paul Linwood. Number seven, Ash Dunn. Number eight, Jamie Roberts. Number nine, Danny Weber. Number ten, Gary Seven. And number eleven, Sam Mainley. Here's a long punt up field from the goalkeeper Lynch. There's a head on it and it's Weber with the ball at his feet. He's dangerous and tricky like that. And Salford City dominating possession in the early stages. There's a ball to Dunn. He's got his head on it. It's a battle. He's to done Platt. well there. He's done well. It's a chance for Linwood. Goalkeeper did well to stand up there, but Nantwich at sixes and sevens at the back. And they've managed to scramble it clear eventually. I don't know what the centre half's doing up there, but they'd have been happy if they got a goal then. Very unlike the Nantwich town team in here is the left back, it's white and he's bombing on. He's got good pace this boy. He's picked out a teammate and it's out wide to Clayton. He's got a chance to cross. That's a very good delivery into oh, Burn. Well, good save that was, good solid save, good play by Nanwich Town there. Now here's an opportunity. It's a set piece and it could prove costly to the Salford City team. He's whipped it in, it's gone all the way through and hit the bar. What a one struck free kick that was. It was more of a cross come shot, I think, but it's, it's gone all the way through and it's caused some problems for Lynch. Anyway, here's Clayton bursting through the midfield. Again, another trademark run from him. And here's Buns with the chance. He takes it first time on his weaker foot when he probably should have laid it off to a teammate. They are not happy about that. I think definitely was a chance. Here's Weber again. He's occupied a position on the left-hand side now. All over the pitch, this boy. He's laid it off. There's Dunn with the effort. And that's a fingertip save. That's fantastic. Oh, wonderful again there by Weber. Wonderful. It's a good ball in. Chance for Seddon, he's controlled it well, but it's good defending there. How much time will be proud of that one? Proud so of the, the defence there. There's a corner in, it's deep, it's deep, it's found Seddon and it's into the back of the net. Oh, well, that what we were just saying there, Nancy Town would have been proud of the defending, but that one was nowhere to be seen. Let that go all the way through. The defence were very static at that set piece. Is that a problem you've seen throughout the season? Obviously, Seddon's delighted with that, but where was the marking? I mean, that's wonderful header. Look, 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 you know. We'll give, give credit to the Salford City boys there because that was a wonderful delivery. You can't afford a striker like Seddon that much time and space. Here he goes, out to Weber. He's on the right-hand side now. He's caused absolute nightmares for the Nantwich Town team all day. He's cut out. He's cut back in. And he's found the corner. What a fantastic effort that was from Weber. I must surely see it now into the 92nd minute. And what a wonderful finish here. You see, this boy's been causing trouble all day. He's been doing all his career, to be honest. But look at this. In. Wait. Should probably square it there. Nope. Back out. And a wonderful two feet. Well, with Weber's antics and everyone else performing at a high standard, it seems Salford City are now through to the third round of the FA Cup and look good for the league as well. Thanks to Tom Deegan for joining me in the studio. We'll be with you next time for all the latest highlights from Salford City FC.